man. What the heck are we doing? <laughs> How's the fishing, man? Pretty good, buddy. Yeah. Trying out these new jigs. What is up guys and welcome back. This is a pretty crazy video because I took my buddy Ben up to the Cast Crate headquarters. We meet up with Rick. He takes us out to some top secret freaking juice hole at a old folks home. Never fished an old folks home before. So that was already weird enough. And then Ben, every time I take Ben fishing, he catches something absolutely unbelievable. And he managed to catch a freaking unicorn. He caught a freaking unimade murkorn. I don't even know what to call it. Absolutely rare, inexpensive fish. And this fish could possibly be worth over a million dollars. Crazy stuff. We're gonna dive in the video, so stay tuned. Is it a gill? That's about average. So I got too big of a jig head on, but I'm just gonna send it. Ooh, first bass. We got a little basky on the trick worm, a little dude, but it's a start. Dude. What? I, I got one of those coil. No. I swear to God. Where are you? I'm over here. Look at the ragweed over here. Dude, what? <laughs> no way. I still have it on, dude. It's ripping drag. All right, I'm coming. What is wrong with you? You only got six pound test on it. Freaking Ben hooks a giant koi. <laughs> dude, what is happening? We're in like this <laughs> enchanted old person here. That thing's like 30 pounds. Hello? Hey, he hooked one of these koi. What? He hooks, he has one of these giant koi on. He thinks it ate it. Who? Oh. Ben. We're trying to land. He's got like six pound test on. I'm coming. <laughs> it's like 30 pounds. What? I'm coming. Dude, you have a $100,000 fish. By accident. I think it is in his tail. This is insane. I'm just trying to wear it out. We're gonna get kicked out of here. <laughs> like, they're gonna be like, this was intentional. Like, no, it was not. It's, it's, it's how I caught my PD mirror carp, same way. It's just like, it felt like it hit too. You just reel into it and they freak out. Oh man, it's kind of awesome, but. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> then should I get started out of the old folks home? Look at it. I don't, you can't even tell yet how massive this is. Like people, if we don't land this, they're not going to believe it. It's, it's seriously like 30 pounds. I'm about to go in the water, dude. Is this solid? Yeah, so much. I'm not allowed in the water too, is a thing. Oh my God. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. People are just staring too. Dude, <laughs> what did you do? Just, They're gonna be so mad. I cast in front of it. And like I, it I know, I know you didn't ladder. mean to. This is just like, I feel awkward. Because uh, I was gonna see if it just like hit. Like, yeah. And he didn't, he just freaked out. He almost got him. I know, he won. I feel so bad almost. That's like a $100,000 fish. We just have to handle it, care. You only got six pound test. That's what's incredible. You got all this stuff on it. Okay, hold on. I wouldn't really more line in yet. Rick, this is ridiculous. Here comes Rick. I got him. I don't know if I'm happy or disappointed. Oh, no, this is insane. This is insane. There's no way to get it off. Hold on, hold on. Just be real slow. Because as soon as he gets shallow, he's going to freak out. He's going to break. See, he's going to break. I don't want him around with a hook in his tail. I'm probably gonna have to go in the water, Rick. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's in the. T How do we. What do we do? He's on six pound test. It's in his tail. Did it break? How did it not break? Man, we're gonna do the last one still. What do we do? Listen, we'll do the last one. He'll tire out. He'll tire out. Are we gonna get, are we, you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta get. Are we gonna get kicked out? I gotta be able to run backwards. Here, here. Oh. You, you grabbing him or you want me to grab him? Anybody has to, once he wears out, I have to run backwards just to get him. You don't think it'll snap? No, no. Yeah, you gotta be real careful, it could snap. You want me to try and get him? Dude, this is like. I've never seen like this. Is, I feel bad on this. He's been intense to do it. He calls me, he's like, dude, I don't know if it ate it. No, still, it's fine. He'll tire out. I'll do this with a mirror card. 
Dude, that's that is awesome. Oh, got to. Hold on, here it comes. You might. This is all rock, I think. We had a net this big done deal. He's tiring out. I saw some really big bass, dude. Really? They're, bed, they're not on the beds with their bind. There's, a bed, there's one bed. tire out. You need a picture of this. I think Betty catches a freaking 40 pound little bit. He's tiring up. Here he comes, Joe. Here he comes, Joe. Get him, Joe. Yo, Joe. Joe. <laughs> what? What just, what just, what just happened? Dude. What? Dude. They're, they're going to kick okay. us out. Like, get up this you gotta, you're going to have to hold this thing good. you got to get a picture. Jesus. What? Here. Here, here, here. Thumb, we, need, we, need a, we need a thumbnail, though. We need a thumbnail, Ben. That might be it right there. Uh, yeah. Ben, what the heck are we doing? We're putting this <laughs> <back>. <laughs> it's not even real. It's like not even real. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, dude, what just happened? Bro. <laughs> Look, he's just unfazed, dude. Just... <laughs> I think it was as big as a small child. <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> oh my god. What the heck, Rick? I'm covered in blue. I'm covered in You like how I just like bear hugged him? Goldfish slime. <laughs> Rick, what do you think about that? Holy crap. That's like a once in a lifetime. Uh, dude. I knew something funky was gonna happen here. Just the fact that we're at like an old folk retirement home. So I'm like something strange is gonna happen. Well, guys, uh, every time I take Ben fishing, something crazy happens. First time I ever took a musky fish, and he hammers a musky on a carp rig, which is ironic because he just hammered a now koi, which is genetically the same as a carp, on a crappie rig. That was freaking crazy, buddy. I kind of feel bad about it, but at the yeah, same time, it was awesome. Nuts. That was intense. <laughs> oh, but she'll be fine. I mean, that's basically just like a colorful carp. Holy crap. After that whole ridiculous thing. It, it got me like on a whole carp kick so i wanted to go carp fishing after we left the cast Creek shop on the way home we stopped somewhere else to try and catch some carp didn't manage to do that ben did catch a nice brown trout though we caught some panfish stuff like that and then I actually went out the next day after some carp it was a little successful mission i got him big carp yeah that didn't take long at all oh, wait it's in his back I think it's in his back. He ate it, then it came out, and it still hooked him. All oh, the bass are freaking out now. Or no, it's in his mouth. That did not take long at all. All the bass are spooked now. I don't know how I'm going to land him. This is going to be tough. I didn't bring a... There's some big bass in here right now, too. Like, I almost want a bass fish, but this probably spooked all the damn bass. There's a bunch more big carp, though. The other carp's chasing after him, it's confused. Freaking spillway fish. Look at the other carp's chasing him. Spillway fishing's fun. That took like a minute. Oh man, the other one's just like chasing him. This is so crazy. The big bass is in there. I see a small mouth and a nice, there's like a really big large mouth I saw earlier. I can't believe it. I literally just casted this. This guy's a fighter. He doesn't want to give up. This guy is a freaking fighter. Holy crap. I'm trying to tire him out enough to not a net. I'm going to bring him over this wall. He does not want to come up the wall. Should have brought a net. He does not want to go over that wall. There he goes. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's strong. I can't know how strong this little fish is. I mean, he's not little, but. Come on, dude. I got him tired. Ow. Ow. Damn it. <laughs> God. God. 
He just finned me in the in the leg. Ugh, that is the strongest little carp I think I've ever caught. I can't believe the fight that thing had. He is just living in current non-stop, but my goodness, that was wild. Try and get him unhooked. There he goes. He'll find his way back in there. All right, guys, like I said, it took like 30 seconds. I'm literally going to throw it back in the same spot and hope for the same result. Hopefully I can get my other rod tied up this time though, so I can catch some of these bass I keep seeing swimming around. Everything's a little spooky. I'm surprised it happened so fast, honestly. Let's see if I can just... I'm just using like the simplest little split shot rig, basically Carolina rig in it. There's that big bass that just swam by. That is a freaking stud. I need to catch him. But anyway, I'm all over the place. But yeah, I just got some corn on there. Throwing it in there. Go in the same spot. See if it happens again. I'm really going to try to catch some of these bass soon. That was an intense fight because, as you can tell, there's really nowhere for him to go. He didn't run a lot to get tired. He just kept freaking going in circles. It was hard to get him over that little ledge there, but I finally got him. Probably going to do some more carp videos. For some reason, every time this time of year, it's like the bass fishing's incredible right now. I should be probably bass fishing, but there's so many people out fishing. I, I don't like seeing people. That's why I've been doing the creek stuff. That's why I'm kind of getting the carp stuff again. But for some reason, every time this time of year, I, I end up getting like some weird carp kick going. And uh, yeah, I don't know. They're just fun. They don't, they don't get the respect they deserve here in the States. And I want to go catch like a freaking 40 pounder. I want to catch like a giant carp. So that's probably coming down the pipes. Going to try and catch like a true trophy, like something that like even though like even over in the UK that they you know they'd be proud to catch. But yeah, guys, the koi that he caught, he snagged. You guys can probably tell from the video he snagged it. He didn't mean to snag it. Um, what's weird is some of those koi and some of these carp actually were chasing our little those little cast crazy so they just look like little insects. And uh, you know that he says that koi actually turned on it, and when it turned. He got excited and set the hook and it ended up in its tail somehow. But, you know, the fish was released unharmed. How much do you guys honestly think that fish was worth? Comment below. Like I said, we looked up online. It could be worth anywhere from like $5,000 all the way up to like over like 1.5 million. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think it's worth that much, but it's probably definitely at least worth, you know, thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars. Those fish are expensive, especially when they get that big. But yeah, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you next time.